sometimes you have to get violent with the steering wheel. This one right here. It uh, had like a bimetal type piece in here that sees completely solid in the shaft. Now, we put it on here. Look at this bad boy right there. It's good for at least seven more horsepower. Uh, that's off of a golf cart. And I got this adapter. But it is, of course, not the right size. Let's get, see if I can get you set up here. Tighten this down even more. Let's try this again. <laughs> This drill is like a, it's a three quarter inch and it's old school. It's 57 horsepower. I don't know. Enough to bend, what is that? A half inch sh shank on that? Enough to bend that drill bit. Anyways, where this is for a golf cart, it came with a spline shaft. Man, it almost makes you feel like a machinist. Look at that. I need to cut this lip off to get my height somewhat right. See if I can do this without cutting off a hand. Oh, you know what? I could put it back in this vise. It's a genius idea, David. Genius. Look at y'all. Just a Boom, chakalaka, real close. Gotta just shake two inches off the top. Damn, I scuffed that up. Son of a biscuit. Little tappy tap, and that will go right on. I feel more than confident. So, we need to drill a hole of that diameter very ever so carefully in this. Probably mark which way is straight. So we'll say that is perfectly up and down. this perfect little marking apparatus right here.
what we need is a square. I mean, we should at least try to make this as close as can be. Maybe. Well, a quarter twenty bolt does fit it. the roll pin is a hundred percent missing in action No pins that are that size. This is the upper. Just a ever so little, just a little tappy tap tap. The sledgehammer, I can't. Oh. Let's try to line that up the best we can. Hell's bells, that thing fits almost perfect. I'm fairly certain that this bolt 100% will not stay in here. But we will tap, tap, tap it. Now, the beautiful thing about that is oh, the beautiful thing about that is. That thing will fall out at the most inopportune time. I'm fairly certain. Which will be okay, I guess. I'll have to make a mental note that I'll never ever remember much past this video. I mean, despite uh, some of the stuff being chopped up, the fitment on it is actually pretty good. You know, this is all chewed up, but that'll be okay. Nice. I dig it. Anyways, I guess it's the first mud mower mod putting a cool steel and steering wheel on it. I don't know. It was more necessity since I had to cut the old one off. Which, by the way, I had to get the steering wheel off to get the dash part to get the gauges out. But anyways, not bad. I dig it.